Hello everyone, and welcome back here to Don't Starve Now. Let's have a quick look at the map. There's something I want to do, and it's going to sound a bit weird, but what I want to do is... I want to get some Nightmare Fuel, and the best way of getting Nightmare Fuel is to get... Wendy here, Willow here, a little bit, um, insane. And then get her to kill a load of rabbits. So... What we are going to do is we're going to do this in two stages. The first one is we're going to capture a load of rabbits, which has just become a lot easier. Um, actually, let's clear up our inventory a little bit first. Then after we've done that, we are going to go and set up a little bit of a base camp down here because Willow likes starting fires when she's uh, feeling a little bit um, pressured in the brain, let's say. And then we're going to rely on these, these, uh, these uh, digging up these grey zones. There's a ghost floating around down there. They're all going to affect Willow's sanity quite badly. And then once that's done, we will, uh, we will uh, kill the rabbits. That'll give us some nightmare fuel, which we're going to need fairly soon. And then after that, we shall work to get her sanity back up again. Hopefully before winter comes around. But first off. Let's get a few things sorted out. So, a bit of food. Put those carrots in there. Get that cooking. Um, right, and let's get some stuff stored. And I did see it. Yeah, I saw another blue gem. Let's get that stored. We don't need that immediately. Um, fish, we shall put in the storage there. Uh, let's take that. And let's get something else cooking immediately. We might as well use this fish. fish. Or we could just eat a carrot. There we go. Right. There's that. Back to storing some stuff. We've got to keep all that. There's one log there. That can go with that log there. And they should be happy ever after. Store that. Going to need the eye bones so that Chester comes with us. I don't think I need the pitchfork immediately. And we shall keep the rest. And I need one more flower today as well. Okay, so let's grab that again. Alright, and. Bish. Cook that. Out. And then we'll stick a couple of berries in. There we go. Okay, so this is going to give us a few days worth of food, so we don't actually have to come back. Which is going to be very important for us. Right, grab all this stuff on the way through. Right, berry bushes are starting already to pay off, which is great. Grab this grass. And then we'll grab these bunnies. As I said, I want to keep the bunnies alive, so what I'll do is I'll stick them in Chester. And he can carry them for me. So, grab this trap. Put the trap back. Uh, okay, and Chester. Chester. Uh, yeah, so I was worried you'd be a little bit full, so... Get some stuff out of you. I have a nasty feeling that my plans are going to involve making another uh, chest. Stick you in Chester as well. Uh, oh, of course, this is Reign of Giants, so they will continue losing. They will continue losing. Um, what's it well in Chester, which is slightly annoying, but we'll live. Okay, oh, didn't want to put that one across, I better put that one across. Okay, so, that's four. 
How are we doing for time? We're doing alright for time. Okay, and yeah, we've got enough wood to make another chest, though that means that that means that we shall be a hay wall chest. There we go. We shall have to get some more trees tomorrow, but that's not a biggie. Okay, so open the chest. Uh, open the chest. Get Chester to come closer. There we go. Right, one well on Chester. Yes, yeah, so you you hide behind that because that makes life a lot easier. Oh, you're going to make me life difficult, aren't you? Right, don't need that. Don't need that. Uh, I should really plant those. Uh, keep the twigs. Right, plenty of rot. Well, that's going to become rot very soon. That can all stay. Chester. Right, now I can empty some stuff out of your gears. Nitre. Saplings I'll take. And store the poop. There we go. Right, and then we can store some of this stuff. Gears. Houndstooth. Uh, nitre. We're not going to need nitre till the summer at the very least. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. How are we doing for time? Plenty of time. Uh, so I need to poop any other slot. Yes, I do. Grab these on the way through. Oh, fertilize ass. Okay, it's easier if we do it from this end. Right. Okay, there we go. Some more grass fertilized and. Such a good word, for at least. Okay, and it's nearly dark. So let's get some fuel edges of the fire. Make up another meal. That last bit of fish sounds good. Stick some berries in. And one of these. Store the rest, actually we'll store those seeds and we'll store those petals as well so they'll last a little bit longer and get that cooking. And we'll eat one of those. Okay, it's nearly night. I think what I'll do is I shall see you all in the morning. Okay, here we are. It is first thing in the morning again. Um, yeah. I want... to avoid having Willow around here to be totally honest with you because the last thing I want is our all our fine work being basically set fire to and I just realised what was looking wrong about this there we go that looks much better now the seeds Get all this going. Loads more twigs, which is excellent. Um, I'm thinking of twigs. In fact, let's turn it round this way. That should be easier to do. Let's get another planting done here. Ah, there we go. I shall move those over there and eventually everything is going to be done like this. Which is going to just make it easier for me to put fire breaks and paths through here. Because I, I'm a little bit worried about Willow's fire starting proclivities. So the last thing I actually want to do is set fire to the entire base. So I want to set the base up in such a way that there's natural breaks between things. It's just going to make it harder for things to get set fire to. Right, grab you. Reset the trap. And restore you in Chester. Uh, yes, I was worried about this. Mm. 
Well, just get as many as we can. And I think actually, we're going to cut our losses there. Uh, I think in future this is going to need a little bit more planning. Where's my axe? There's my axe. Grab a few trees. Okay, right. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get another tree and then we'll go around here and set up a little base. I think. Of all the characters, Willow's probably the easier one to have running around at night because she has her lighter with her, which gives her light, which is going to stop her from getting attacked by monsters and things like that. So these are good things. So back around here to all right, I was a little bit off. Let's just check actually. Do we have a fire? We have a fire. Brilliant. Okay. So being around here. Okay. Have we dug these up? Yes, we have. Well, hopefully, being around here is. Gonna do fun things to her sanity. Ah, there's an there's an under grave. Another blue gem. Very nice. And what we get there? Mismatched balloons. All right, nearly, nearly low enough. In fact, that is now low enough. Okay, so you see how the rabbits have changed? So if we murder this, it becomes beard hair. I thought it became nightmare fuel. There we go, there's some nightmare fuel, not nearly enough. And monster meat. Okay, not perfect, but we got one, one bit out of it, and I think what we'll do is straw roll. We need to take the science machine to get that working. Okay, wait. Hey, there we go. First bit of fire from the lovely wood up, and I think actually we're probably. Well, we might as well do one more. There we go, and that's got our sanity down very, very low. Let's put the fire down. She'll survive the night here. Yeah. It wasn't a great success. That needs a little bit more planning in future by the looks of it. Frazzled wires. Okay, interesting. A lying robot. Mismatched balloons. Yeah, that wasn't a, a, an unparalleled success, but we did get one piece of nightmare fuel out of it, and I'm happy with that. So if we get her stood in the fire like that, then our sanity will slowly go up during the course of the night. And I think what I'll do is I'll leave it there and I shall see you guys in the morning, hopefully with a slightly saner willow. Okay, good morning everyone. We've made it through the night. I'm happy with this as an experiment. It didn't work quite as well as I was hoping, but it worked and that's a good sign. So. I think if we put a, if we, we set up an area, let's have a quick look at the map, if we set up an area, hmm, let's say, say up here, or over here, where we have, yeah, so talk to the top of this grassland area might be good, so if we set up an area there where we can put some rabbit traps, and then we can have a little fire there, and perhaps some food, and then we can get to Willow's sanity low. She can stay up there away from the main base, which let's look at this face, it is getting quite big now and we don't want it ruined. And that should, should give us a chance to get nightmare fuel and certainly loads of other bits and pieces as well. I mean, the, um, what do we get out of that? We got some nightmare fuel, beard hair. It's going to be that's the only way we're going to get beard hair. Not that I've really used for it. Monster meat is good. 
Yes. Yeah, that worked for me. Okay, let's see how I stood back on the fire again. I want to get our sanity back up to 40 or so before we move on. And the best way of doing that is if you is to get her to stand on the fire. If you see she's if we walk away, the arrow gets smaller. But if we actually stand on the fire. Yeah, that widow's love of fire means that our sanity increases. So I'm gonna cut away now. And I'll bring you back when her sanity gets up to about 40, and then we shall set off back to base. Right, sanity's just ticked to 40. Uh, it means... We are on our way back to good mental health. If I can find one more flower, I will make her a flower garden. Assuming those petals are still there. I hope they are. To that. Anyway, let's head back to base. 40 sanity is reasonable. Yeah, we're going the right way. And yeah, once we get up there. I'm still worried about her setting fire to things, but I think we've just proven a point there. Might as well grab the uh, that because that's useful for healing. Still, setting for setting fire to that has given us another five points, which is not bad. Okay, how much space have you got inside your cell of chest? Out, you've got plenty of space. Okay, so add this stuff. Uh, this stuff. There we go. Let's see if we can do this without setting fire to the traps. Which would be good. Okay, so we'll Let's just use these ones up as well. There you go. Another bit of nightmare fuel. Perfect. Okay, right. Sanity going down. We don't want the sanity going down. Let's get a fire going. use the fire to get the sanity up. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just stay by the fire now overnight and we'll actually do something constructive uh, tomorrow which will be day 16. Uh, so I shall see you all in the morning. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, Willow is... well she's made it through the night. Sanity up to about 50 which is which is actually really great news to be totally honest with you because that means that you know, she's starting to recover the mixture of the fire and the sunlight is actually starting that to go up really fast so we'll stand there for a, a, a little bit longer I think what I'm planning on doing today is I'm going to go across past the frogs into this area here and I'll cut down a couple of trees in the forest while we're at it but mostly what I want to do is see if we can find any flowers because I think this is a very good point for Willow to get um, a bouquet of flowers in her hair, make her feel a little bit better. Uh, she's vastly improved now. And as I said, that was an experiment, and I think the experiment works. So I'm really quite happy with it. Uh, I think that's enough of the day used to done that now. So let's let's head on because it's the sun is shining. Her sanity is still a little bit. Improving, I think. Let's not tempt fate, let's put that away. Go past the frogs. I need to set a lot of traps around here. Birch. Get that and run away. Oh dear, there are a lot of frogs around here, aren't there? Okay, let's have a quick look at the map and let's see if we can find a suitable... Yeah, it's not perfect location for flowers, but we should find some in here. 
So let's have a quicker run around here. Grab some trees if we can find any decent ones. Oh, it actually looks like that's a good, a better place to go. The grass is definitely greener on the other side. Can we get over there? Yes, we can easily get over there. Let's do that. Let's do it. Yeah, just doing that gave her a nice big jump in sanity. So, but I don't want her doing that around the base. I think. But anyway. 60 ta sanity will be half, and uh, that should be good enough. Um, yeah, we're definitely finding flowers here. Uh, getting 12 would be good. We've got 3, that's 4, and 5. We'll get them before the bees notice. don't really want to have an argument with an angry bee at the moment. Oh yeah, loads of sanity. I think she's recovered nicely. We've got a couple of nightmare fuel, which is fantastic. That's going to help us an awful lot because I think the next step, the next thing we want to do with Willow is make a Presta Hatatata, which is going to start opening up the magic items because I, th I just feel that... What we need for this young lady, what we really need for this young lady is a fire staff. It just seems that of all the things we could get her, that's the thing she would thank us the most for. Let's make another axe. Okay, and a few more logs because we've used an awful lot of logs recently. And we might as well get that stump as well. There we go. Seven flowers. Let's see if we can find a few more. Eight. I don't, yeah, our sanity is up to about 90 now, so. I am actually really tempted. And I actually think I am going to. Let's have all these berry bushes. Uh, getting a bit distracted, but never mind. I think we will probably stay the night out here and head back to base in the morning. You know, just one more day to make sure that everything's alright. I actually didn't mean to do that. And that just gives us a chance to get a few more lovely resources. Nine. Ten. Come on, just need another two flowers. Not here. What's it look like north of here? Okay, there's another wooded bit. We'll go north of here. Have that push all the way through. This is going to. Gosh. Well, things are going to get a little bit soggy, but I think we'll, we're just going to have to put up with that fact. Another bush here. I'm oh, glad we did this now. These bushes are just going to make our base so much nicer. Yeah, sanity is still around about 100. There we go, 12. Perfect. Oh, actually, no, it's in dress, isn't it? There we go. Flower garlands. There you go, that'll lower down the sanity drop, and when we make a fire in a minute... Do we have a fire? Yes, uh, we, yes we have a fire. Oh, uh, actually we won't put that down just yet. Pick up a few more flowers on the way through, I think. There, that's... Worked well for us. How are we doing for time? It's nearly, nearly night time. Let's grab this tree. Hopefully the rain will stop soon. Alternatively, it'll just get worse. Alright, okay, so... 
this guy? Ooh! Another beefalo! Oh, hello! It's good to see you! Getting dark. We can't do over that. Right. Right, it's getting cold as well. Okay, let's get that fire out. There we go. Right, back on the fire. Okay, and... Right. We just have to put up with the rain and that. Did we get enough? No, we didn't get enough petals. We're just going to have to put up with the rain and that overnight. And I shall see you always in the morning, which of course will be the next episode now. So until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been Don't Starve. Thank you and good night.